Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to fix a WordPress login page refreshing and redirecting issue. Every once in a while, while you're working with your WordPress platform, you may have an error. This specific error creates the issue when you try to log in, it refreshes and redirects back to the login screen. So every time you enter your username or email and then your password, you simply are brought back to that page over and over again. So let's look at some solutions to be able to fix this. It's recommended that you always have a backup of your website before you start troubleshooting any errors. One of the most simple solutions is making sure that your browser is clear of your cookies and your cache so that every time you go to your login screen, it is a fresh new version. You may need to restart your browser to make sure this works correctly, but typically a lot of times this simple little solution will make it where you can log in. If that solution did not work, it could be that you've installed a new plugin or you installed or updated a recent theme and now it's causing issues with your login screen. Simply go to your plugins and rename the folder so that way you're deactivating all your WordPress plugins and now see if you can go back in. If you can log in, you know that it was a plugin causing the issue. If the plugin was not causing the issue, let's look at the themes now. Simply start renaming each WordPress theme until you find the one that's causing the issue. As a side note, please make sure that you do not edit or alter your default WordPress theme in any way. Typically, this is the current year that we are in. So for an example, this would be 2017. Try not to edit or alter this file in any way. Now refresh your website and see if you can log back in. If you cannot log back in, let's take this a step further. If these simple solutions did not work, let's now look at your web server. Simply log into your web server using FTP. I'm using FileZilla. Now look for a .ht access file which could be corrupted and causing your error. Once you have found this file, simply delete it. Now try to log back in. If you were able to log in, you know that it was a corrupted .ht access file. Simply now go to your settings, go to permalinks, and simply click save. You do not need to change anything, and this will automatically create a new .ht access file, and everything should be good. As a last resort, you may simply want to contact your web hosting provider to see if there is a server issue or if there is a corrupt WordPress installation. Many web hosts will help you troubleshoot this problem and help you find the line of code or the issue causing the conflict. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.